So I actually did plan to do a video on the PlayStation 2 version of Stockyard. Um, I wasn't going to be doing one on Snark Pit because it's exactly the same. Besides maybe a couple a item pickups changed around, like ammo and stuff. Like, it was one-to-one. -one. Lighting was even the same. It wasn't even made darker. Um, I almost did one on um, Subtransit a moment ago. In fact, I started recording it like three minutes ago. Um, here's Skirmish. Which is uh, an original map in the PlayStation 2 version. Uh, this one is really fun. Um, it is excru extremely mindless, though. I'm going to tell you that right now, that there's almost zero strategy. Uh, maybe when you're playing with, like, one versus one, uh, you know, that made a little bit more sense. You can hide. But when you play it, like, eight with eight people, like I'm about to do here, then just, no. No, there's just, it's just good old, old senseless fun. So, yeah, you're going to see right away. I'm going to let the bots do it for me. This is an oddly destructible map. Like, watch. Like, you know, this is like, you know, you just saw that little scripted sequence with the barrels and, like, you know, the light posts and stuff. But even this crate, as you saw, just got ripped to shreds. I don't think I've ever seen a Half-Life map like that before. Like, even a, like, a custom one, I don't seem to recall. But, yeah, anyway, this is an incredibly small map, so let's get started here. So, if you start over here, you know, grab the crossbow. Obviously, good time for sniping people, but I don't need to really tell you that. Um, there's a few places to hide with, like, you know, these things. Which, as I said, maybe added a little bit of strategy when it was, a, like, a two-player-only map. But when you got it to, like, you know, a ton of people walking around, it's not as helpful. Um, grab the RPG, of course, from the newly d eviscerated um, shipping container. Die in the process, too. Um, and yeah, grab ammo too. There's a lot of ammo here, but you're not going to be able to see it in action here. Get those, uh, satchel charges. Always a good time. And if you come over here, get the SMG. Also a good time. In fact, most weapons in this game are a good time. Let's just say that. Um, and here you go. You got your, um, you know, AR grenades. I say AR grenades. I meant SMG grenades. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. And then you got the gauze, which, you know, you can use the gauze to jump across the whole freaking map. Which is a wild bit of fun there. Um, you can actually get on top of this shipping container, which doesn't break here. Um, but I can't really think of a much of a uh, advantage to being up here. Because now you just made yourself an open target. And uh, yeah, that was probably the easiest map to talk about in history. I don't really have much more to say about that. You know, fun for what it is. But you know, it it's like, you know, a snack. The other maps are like full courses. This is like an appetizer. Get you ready for some hot action. Yeah, I'll give you another shot here. Yeah, see, I'll just let you see real quick. If you blow that up, that happens. And if you blow this up, that goes flying. And, then, like, you know, yeah, just look at that. It's freaking nuts. Oh, wow, that was a freaking epic shot to start the game. I'm freaking elated. Um, anyway, since I don't have a lot to talk about with the map itself here, um, I'm going to just tell you something stupid I'm doing right now. So the other day I received a, a shuttle mouse, which if you don't know, that's the um, mouse that the Sega Saturn was compatible with. So basically it was the mouse for the Sega Saturn. Go figure. Um, and I have what's called a RAFNET adapter, so you can use Sega, Sega Saturn controllers on your computer. And since I'm a loser, I'm, I'm using that shuttle mouse right now to play this game, which is fine. It's like an old trackball one with like, you know, that old analog way of doing it. And, you know, it, it's good, as you can see, it works just fine. I had to turn the sensitivity way up. We're literally on, like, max sensitivity, both on Windows and, um, Half-Life here. But, yeah, besides that, it's pretty good. It doesn't have a scroll wheel, so I have to switch weapons the old-fashioned way, if you can't tell. But, unlike my normal mouse, the, um, it has three buttons. Actually, it has four buttons, so which is cool. And when you use the default setting on Rafnet, the... Fourth button is a back button for, like, websites, so that's really helpful. But I need my scroll wheel, so I'm not going to be using it all the time. On, like, the actual, like, you know, computer. But here I have, uh, the third button set to reload. And the fourth one is to walk, which is helpful. Really like that. Just a little so fun fact for you, because as I said, look at this. What is there to talk about? Like, I'm not trying to be negative. This is a fun map, but it just is. It's just a stretch of road. And there's, like, a bunch of weapons everywhere and everyone's shooting at each other. Like, you know, you can't get much more basic than that in terms of, like, you know, map design.